Hi, and welcome to Tri-State Computer Center's new video podcast on repairs and fixes for all different types of computers and stuff. Uh, for the next few, we're going to be focusing on a new tool that I found, which I thought was really impressive, called Medicat. So let's dive in. Installing Medicat in Linux, uh, we're going to go to medicatusb.com. And the web page will load up here in a second. Um, this is the guy that uh, created it. Put up a little warning saying that, you know, it'll pop up as a virus on some machines. That's why I use Linux, because it doesn't bother with any of that nonsense. Um, so we want to go in and download the installer program for Linux. And once we get the installer program downloaded, there it is. We'll open it up and take a look and see what's inside. It's a simple shell script. It's not that big, but some people can get a little paranoid. So you can always open it up, take a look, and <coughs> see what it uh, see what it entails. Um, this is a little bit beyond my pay grade for the most part, but the majority of it's pretty straightforward stuff. Um, if you have time or can't fall asleep one night, this is some good reading. Um, but anyway, we're not going to focus on that. We're going to close this up. And then we're going to just open up a terminal. And once we open up the terminal, we'll find this file, which will be in our downloads folder. The thing is, when you first download a file in Linux, most people know this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, it's most of the time not set as executable. And in order to be able to run the install file, you've got to make it executable. So first we're going to change to the download directory. If you need the full directory path, you can just click there and get it. This is running Mint, by the way, just in case you were wondering what version of Linux this was. And there's our file. Now, as you can see, we do not have the executable um, flag on anything. So we're just going to run a change mod 755 to make it executable. And then you'll see it is executable. There's the lovely little X there. So now we're just going to run it by doing dot forward slash and the file name. Hit enter. Gives us a little disclaimer, just saying, you know, they're not responsible for anything, obviously. Um, this uses Ventoy. Um, it will ask you a couple of times through the install for your root password, which is totally normal. Um, because it does ask for root privileges it needs to do things that root needs to do such as updates and downloads all right so right now it's going to download and update anything that needs to be downloaded and updated and then it's going to download ventoy ventoy is the program that enables it to be able to boot into a whole bunch of stuff which is great um, I use it all the time, have used it in the past. All right, so now it's asking, do you have your Medicat USB? And no, because we're creating that. So we're going to tell it to download via Tor. Now, that's not the Tor network. That's actually um, Torrent, short for Torrent. So we're just going to fast forward the download process. Here we go. And now it's going to save. And we've got it. So now, if you didn't already, you need a USB 32 gigabytes or bigger. I use 64 or 128. Plug it in, and it will say, okay, where do you want me to put this? In this instance, um, it's SDC. Um, SDB is zero, so that's not it. SDA is a hard drive, so we certainly don't want to do that. So we're going to use SDC. Now, the beauty of this is it automatically wipes out anything that's already there. Um, and lays down Ventoy and the Medicat software right in one shot. So it says, are you sure you want to do this? And of course we answer yes. And 
just for dramatic pause, it will wait five seconds to do so. Again, asking for our root password. And away we go. Now, this takes some time. This is a big file that is being uncompressed and moved up to your USB stick. Um, if you're going to use this any time um, for a lot of use, I would suggest you do it on a SSD drive. And uh, we're just going to fast forward here to the end of this because otherwise it'll be here for hours. Um, once it's done, it'll come up and uh, say we're complete, we're finished. And that's really all there is to it. Um, we can, of course, safely unmount the, the, the USB so that we can pull it out without it screwing anything up and all our hard work. And we're done. Um, it's literally that simple. So anyway, this is the first of many. Um, we're going to be spending a lot of time with Medicat in the near future. Um, it is a phenomenal program um, for diagnostics. And uh, if you like it and like our video, please like and smash that smash button.